Hello guys, let's talk a little bit more about work. So in chemistry, especially in general chemistry, most of the work that we are discussing is mechanical work done by a system. This is generally expansion of gas. This type of work actually called pressure volume work or PV work. Let me demonstrate to you. So here is my favorite rubber ducky and if my duck is my system, I can do work on it, I can compress it, and then the gas inside can expand as I release it, so my duck does the work. I do the work, the duck does the work. So now when I am doing the work, in that case I am adding energy into the system. When the duck does the work, the work is going to be negative positive negative okay i hope this makes sense so how can we calculate the work done in these type of situations well we have a very handy formula so the work done equals to the negative pressure times the change in volume so the p is the pressure and delta v is the change in volume so the change in volume is just V final minus V initial. All right. So why is it negative? Because the work is done by the system and we are going to arrive to the correct convention if we use the negative sign. You'll see it in a second. Okay, let's do a practice question. Let's calculate the work in joules that was done during a chemical reaction in which the internal volume expands from 15 liters to 42 liters against a 2 atm constant pressure. And we have actually the conversion from liter ATMs to joules. Okay, so let's just simply plug our values into our formula. So the work equals minus P delta V minus 2 ATM multiplied by delta V, which is V final, so 42 liters minus V initial, which is 15 liters. And if you do this calculation, you are going to arrive to minus 54 liter ATM. And from here, we can convert into joules using our conversion factor. So multiply by liter ATM goes on the bottom, joules go on top because we want to cancel out the liter ATMs and end up with a joule. And we know that one liter ATM is 101.3 joules. So if you do this calculation, you are going to arrive to minus 5,470 joules. What does this mean? This means that our work is negative because the work was done by the system, which makes sense because the gas expanded against the constant pressure. Now, I have a quick question for you. What if we are expanding against vacuum? So in vacuum, the pressure equals to zero. What would be the work done in that case? It would be also zero. Just because simply, even if you look at the equation, you will see that when you multiply with a zero, you are going to get zero for the work too. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.